Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your May 2023 mini tarot reading. I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that are out there. And those of you whose mothers are no longer on their earth walk, you still can talk to them. They'll, they'll be around today or this you know Mother's Day. So, And that's in the States. I'm not sure where you're at, but in the U.S. it is Mother's Day on May 10th. So again, Happy Mother's Day or the first, second Sunday of the month, not the 10th. Uh, Happy Mother's Day. So I'm sorry about that. Let's see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, I have included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com. Uh, you can book me there or you can, um, or contact me via that website or you can book me through Judy, readings by Judy, J-U-D-I-E.com. And I've included that information down below too. And I got, I have millions of requests, not millions, many requests for me to show my jewelry. So for once, I'm gonna put it in my background over here. Uh, if you wanna see it close up, I can send you a snapshot of it. And if you don't, that's okay. It makes me feel good and I thought I would share it with you. And I'll try to do that for a couple of months. We'll put something out there. So let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Wow, it seems like you've been, um, contemplating, reviewing, looking back, okay? Like looking back to how you got here. And that's awesome because your things are really um, important. Like I'm feeling here that things are very important to you right now. Not that they're not all the time, but it's like, okay, you're either uh, analyzing how things have gone for you or how they are going to go for you. And I feel like a real focus on family for some of you. And this is really a good thing. Okay, but you can't be controlling. <laughs> it says try not to control everybody. It says you're going to find cooperation where you haven't had it before. And that's a, that can be a really good thing. In the past, all of us have made foolish mistakes. We all do. But it says that you now realize or you're realizing how things have changed or how you have changed or um, made changes to accommodate some of the some of the things from the past, and that's a good thing. Maybe you felt stabbed in the back or felt like nobody heard you or you were waiting for someone to apologize. You know what, don't waste the time waiting for someone to apologize. Be the bigger person, you know, put out the white flag, do something like that, because forgiveness is about you, not the other person, for whoever needs to hear that. Um, wow, it seems like, gosh, it's, this is the third third time it feels like, re. Uh, moving or traveling is coming. Okay, I just said this for two signs ago, but it just says, do what's best for you. You may wanna downsize or upsize. I'm not sure if you're moving, um, but just make sure you know that um, you both agree. If you if you have a partner or you have a family, make sure it's something good for everybody. Don't make that decision yourself if it involves the rest of your family or those close to you. Double, double twos, making choices, choices for the future, choices for now. Um, and it says it's time. You've, you've, um, I keep getting the word contemplation. It looks like you've been reviewing how you got to where you are, or what, what's going on in your world, or your family, or something like that. And you're, you know, it's like you're going to find a, a really good balance there. So whatever you're doing, I would keep doing it. Um, opportunities are definitely going to present themselves to you, um, whether that be for work or again for moving something like that. It's going to be a big deal. I mean, it's going to be like. Uh, Oh, finally it's here. I know this is it. But again, if you have a partner, a spouse, family, whatever, include them in the decision. Try not to make it, you know, if it's if you're by yourself, great, make it. But if you have others that count on you or you're part of your their family, I would include them in the choice also, if you can. It says your excuses are gone now about not speaking up. Okay, maybe you're somebody, and again, this isn't for everyone, maybe you're someone that lets things just roll off your back until you can't take it anymore, and then boom, explosion comes. This just says your excuses are gone now for those of you that are really wanting to say, I've had enough. Speak up. I think if you talk now, um, it, it could be really good for you. And, and talk means speak, then listen. Don't think about what you're going to say next. Just listen to whatever this whoever's talking to you is saying then respond okay and again that's not for everybody whoever that's for though it's, it's i really feel strongly it's going to change things for you you know carrying around guilt from the past never solved anything for anybody it says that um you know it can create anger it can create fear um, or other things but it just says here try your best to let that go we can't change the past it'd be great if we could 
but we're, I think our lesson is to learn from the past and when we know better, we're gonna do better in a way. Um, but it says here you have the Knight of Cups, wishes granted. Things are gonna be um, changing quickly, but remember, it's, it's, I wish I could say hocus pocus, everything's changed, but it's gonna be kind of like this, up and down, up and down and go with the flow because there's movement. The stagnation seems to be over for some of you that have been waiting for something. Anything to do with the law for you? I feel like victories could be yours. And law could be a ticket. It could be court. It could be whatever. It could be a lot of things. But it brings change in the way you think about something. And that can be really big in itself. Again, standing up for yourself is important. Um, you know, Arguments from the past. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing. Whoever this is for, I just feel like I'm reading for someone specific here. If you had an argument with someone uh, recently, don't be so proud that you can't apologize. It kind of came up here twice. This is the second time. So if that's for you again, here you go. And if not, uh, if you have an argument with somebody, try to step back and, and uh, end it before it gets out of control. That's a better way to say that if it's for more people. Uh, your strength is really strong this month and your intuition, Pisces, you've always had good uh, intuition. Trust what you know, trust what you feel, trust what you see, but again, don't force your beliefs on somebody else. I feel things are gonna start falling into place, that feeling of this card right here, I hope you can see it. It is the uh, Seven of Swords, or excuse me, Eight of Swords. And, and that's going to not be you anymore. You're going to see clearly the blindfold will be, be removed. And I almost feel like that, you know, this feeling of being like this is going to change too for you. Um, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see here. Travel, travel, travel. Nope, that's not travel. I feel like the move that you've wanted to do, or maybe I almost feel like some of you are thinking about buying a summer home somewhere or a winter home. Um, this might be the year that that actually falls into place for you. It's like I'm getting like an antsy feeling. Um, like, you know, I should do this now. So if you're feeling like now is the right time, check it out. Just don't sign anything. You don't know what you're signing. Okay. Cause it's whatever you sign your name to is pretty permanent. Uh, especially if you have a lawyer, a lawyer is always good if you're buying any kind of uh, property or something like that. I have the pregnancy card here. If you're wanting to be pregnant, and, uh, that's a good thing. If you're not, you also know. So just heads up about that. Um, wow, I feel like you're going to feel like a victor. But sometimes, you know, to feel like a victor can be a good thing. But it also can mean depending on how that comes about, that somebody else is feeling pretty bad and that's not what you wanna do, it looks like. Again, that could be with a family member, it could be at work, having a disagreement, you know, just put it on the table. You know what I mean? Bring it out, get it talked over and get through that. I feel like um, strength in a relationship, maybe it's like a rekindling of a relationship. Maybe you've been with someone for a long time and everything's kind of, you know, boring <laughs> is the only word I can come up with. I feel like there's a chance to rekindle that, but it's, you know, relationships are work. Everything doesn't come out perfect. You know, both people have to work and it's not 60, 40, 50, 50. It could be a hundred and a hundred. I don't know, but I'm just saying that if we both work on our relationship, it's going to get better. If just one of us works on our relationship, that's pretty much, that's a heavy thing to carry. Feel like your prayers are heard specifically about if somebody has been sick, okay, um, and you've been praying for them a lot, I think you're gonna see um, like an improvement, okay? Um, or you're gonna get news that something's changed, that whoever that's for who's been waiting for that, I feel really strongly about it's coming really quickly. New beginnings are definitely possible. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> joy is gonna be yours. That's you know, so many people I've spoke to in the last couple of months is when are things going to change? Well, I think Pisces for you, they're definitely changing right now and on the way. Try not to do everything at once. Put your best foot forward. And most important, the big message I'm feeling here is finish what you start. Okay, we can start 10 different things and nothing gets done. If you have started 10 different things, pick one, get it done and move on to the next one. I just feel like this month's going to be a month where you feel confident and you feel content. And I would be pretty happy with either one of those. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much, Pisces, for dropping by. I will see you again next month. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss.